Okay, so today's service call, we have an F3 fault. So let's open it up and see what we find. Yeah. Coming. Yeah, so this has got an F3 fault. So that's just the discharge pipe over temperature fault. So all I've done so far is just put my high side gauge on the high side, put my pipe thermometer on the discharge pipe. So I'm just going to go turn it on and see if it like if the temperature is actually getting up there. So we'll soon find out. Right, that just turned on.
Okay, so I just got up in the roof um, and taken the top off. And I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but that is absolutely pissing out of gas right in the middle of this coil. Focus. Anyway, it's leaking right in the middle of the evaporator coil. Which is a bit annoying because like I can't just solder it up. So I'm gonna see if they can still have spare parts. Which I'm not overly confident about. But um yeah, it's a gas leak. That's the problem. Alright, so I just rang up Dakin and they don't have the indoor coil in stock anymore because it's such an old system. It's so frustrating because now the only option is to replace it. Um, the compressor doesn't sound crash hot anyway, to be honest. But what makes it annoying is like, obviously I've got to tell the customer now that it's got a gas leak can't fix it, need to replace the whole system. Um, but what's worse is this has got the pipe going up. So it's not like normal trunking where you can just take the face off it and run new pipe. You literally have to replace that. Out of control. It's pretty frustrating though. Um, every job I seem to go to at the moment, find out what the problem is and can't get spare parts. Frustrating. Anyway, F3 error, um, short on gas. F3 error just means that the discharge pipe is getting way too hot. Because there's no gas in it, there's no lubrication in the compressor and it just gets way too hot. That's it. Done. 